It looks like Alex Jones has been let back on X, and it's a very big deal, and it's a it's a good news, and appreciate Elon Musk for that, for doing that. But life is complicated. Zuby had a post on X the other day where he's he kind of just paraphrasing was like, hey, I just don't like when people nitpick or basically are purists about something. You know, why not be happy or whatever? And I don't, life is complicated. There are no Marvel superheroes here. Elon Musk let Alex Jones back on X. I'm appreciative, I'm appreciative of Elon for that. But at the same time, it's fair to ask what's happening here. This this dude is all over the place. Last year, he said he didn't let Alex Jones on because his first child died young. I mean, that does, it doesn't make any sense. And then now he's got him back on. Tucker had the interview with him, which was great. It's just, Elon, what's your moral? What's your standards here? I said, it's great to see Alex Jones back, but I, I just challenge people, what is the fundamental principle here? What he did was this poll. I mean, he's still doing these polls. and So he did a poll, reinstate Alex Jones on this platform. And 70% of the people said yes, and then he said okay. What do we have here? A poll? I thought he was a free speech advocate. In his own words, not me. I'm not putting that label on him. His own words. Even if you don't go by the First Amendment, what does a poll have to do with free speech? Is this a part of the terms and conditions? So then the people who tell me you don't have First Amendment rights on here, they say the platform can make their own terms and conditions. Is this? I've never heard of a poll letting people back on as a part of a term and condition. So really the only terms and conditions are whatever the oligarchs say, who gets the poll options after getting banned? Does Nick Fuentes get one? Is it only for certain famous people? What if what if you do a poll for someone and it's a no? When when do they get the next poll? What 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 are we doing here? It's just confusing. It's just asinine. If Dorsey, Gotti, and Roth were still in charge of this spot X, would you support this? And before you say yes, understand Elon's choosing who gets a poll or not. So if Dorsey Gotti, Dorsey was like some irrelevant figure, so I don't even know why I put him there. Gotti and Roth were really running things. They would say, this Tifa person gets a poll or something. I mean, they would not give Alex Jones a poll option to get back on X. So you don't have any fundamental change. It's as bad or maybe worse than it was before. Elon is over his his interests kind of are overlapping now because with the advertisers pulling out, you need broad appeal. The goal is to get as many people. I mean, it makes no sense to have Nick Fuentes, Alex Jones, anybody else. Milo's still banned. Infowars is still banned. Steve Bannon is still banned. It makes no sense to have those people banned when the advertisers have already pulled out. They basically paused their, you're, you're at their whim. You want to get mass appeal and your algorithm should, if you don't like Alex Jones, you don't have to watch or listen. You can ban the term Alex Jones. The algorithm should know you don't like Alex Jones. It shouldn't be a problem. There are many people I don't like. I don't look at their posts. Why do you, why do people support this? Begging some oligarch to run a poll? At the end of the day, this always goes back with Elon. He has no moral foundation. He doesn't believe in God. He has no... So what is your what is your guiding principle in life? This shows a lack of integrity and a lack of morality.